Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death Gambit. We are we are here on the map, and I've just noticed that couldn't reach this with one jump, but I can with two. This is blocked, but this actually has a this. Um also there was that shortcut door like here. I literally just went and opened that. I just literally never opened it. It was kind of weird. Okay, those guys are definitely new. I would recognize, like, Crystal Storm Warriors. I feel like... Dark Leather Boots. Oh, I uh, killed the Owl Guy again, by the way. Dark Leather Boots. Vit and Finesse. Leather Boots and Souls padded to silence footfalls, favored by rogues. Many were sent ahead of the expeditions to lay low and ambush any who returned from Ker Siorai. The expeditions afforded each kingdom a facade of an alliance, but they were all ready to betray the other to claim immortality for themselves. Cool. Whoa. They're like sucking me towards them. Those guys got killed though, so that's good. You fool. Just drag me into your range, huh? Didn't think that one through. That's the thing. When you have a... Ooh, I'm small. You know not what you're interfering with. It's you. Is it revenge you seek? This relic is a monument of wars long before the great expeditions were ever celebrated. I just killed you at the end of last episode. Do we mortals have the rematch with you. But you jumped away in the original, so I guess you get How multiple rematches. Die in the name of their king? So you get two fights in the game and two rematches. Put an end to it all. You're the... Oh. No. This is different. No wonder. All right, work on that, huh? This is interesting. She still has her same level of power. Also, this is almost a uh, an Iron Golem fight. Flash kick. Get him in his bad knee. He injured it playing football. Giant football, I guess. God, I'm tearing through him. That was a cool fight. Ooh, Mega Man ability? Is this gonna be the stomp? Crash down. Dodge roll in the air to crash down. This can break through any floors with a glowing sigil. Blinds enemies hit. This blinding effect recharges every 70 seconds. Eh, I don't like that. A meddlesome twit. You ruined everything. Hey, there was flesh in there, actually. No outsider has ever made it to Kershorai. Do you understand? You've left us for dead. Any mortal blood spilled here is on your hands. Remember that. There's meat in this thing. This is just armor. This isn't a... This isn't a golem. Oh, that's just a mechanic to stop me from standing there. What? What? The hitbox for his hand or shield is still there. Bizarre. Oh, so only the 
the big attack. Okay. That's not bad at all. Uh, I cut out like 30 minutes of me just f fooling around, getting lost. All right, 613 for the next one. Are these guys back? Those guys are. All right, Alfred, you just first tried a big boss. Let's not botch it on the uh, normies. Interesting. So, the world has opened up for me. Oh, by the way, I decided to bite the bull and put this to level four with all the stuff I'd gotten. So, do I have any of these? Hmm. That is a really slow animation. That's gotten me hurt a few times. Ione Spear. I can crush that up, probably. And the Forbidden Key. So... Hmm. I guess now I just... Go until I find things that I can smash through then. Which probably should work, honestly. Three golden carrots. Golden carrots are a bit of a strange item to pick up, I would say. Man, that was cool. That was a cool fight. I can't wait to do the rematch. It's probably going to be like a... Uh, Hey, while I'm here, check this out. I'm now so strong that I can actually interrupt him. That's on me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Having trouble, I see. Well, you know what they say. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. That's not a real I thing. Say you qualify. I know that somebody said it, but that doesn't mean that it's real. It is by no means uh uh a term appreciated by any real medical practitioner.
I love ripping into him with the axe. This is now essentially how I like test my level of power, you know? Just, you know, how much quicker has it gotten? How much faster can I do this? Let's check down here just to see. Because this is a pretty big area. All right, that'll be something for the uh, super jump. The super jump was my least favorite upgrade in, in Symphony of the Night. Because, like, I feel like I might have rather have had a wall jump, you know? Um, like, a wall jump would have been cooler. And... Uh, I feel like having a super jump and having a, uh... Having a super jump and having a um, a double jump is kind of weird. Alright, I know that there were a bunch on the path to... The castle. Like this way. I don't think that this is like all of them by any means. I don't even think that this is the way I should be going. But it's something to do. I I I'm not sure if I got the stomp from Ione. Or if I got the stomp from the giant. Or maybe it's a bit of both, you know? Maybe I, maybe the stomp was only ever learned from the giant, you know? And Ione just happens to use it. Take 30% less damage on kills is super useful, except on bosses, when it's not. Leaf of Gaia. All right, so I know about that one. What level are you? 80. And I am almost level 59. Or I'm almost level 50. I am level 49. Okay. God, I just put all the points in order to have a level four Vado sex. The first time I come through here, they drop a level four Vado sex. I put the resources necessary to take a weapon to plus five into making my plus one axe a plus four. This is why it's such a weird decision and not one I necessarily agree with to make it so. You get upgraded items because because what if you get an upgraded item and then there's no reason to use anything but that, you know, like I got that upgraded halberd and it was like, OK, I guess I'm a halberd build now and I use halberds and I did. Oh, I'm pissed about that. That's so not cool. And it's going to take me so long to get back up. But if I had only just been able to get... I ground those things. I didn't mention this, but I actually spent time killing those things off screen in order to get the stuff I want.
in the hopes of me getting a plus five Vados Axe. I spent time killing those things over and over again. I got like two levels there. They chose not to give it to me. I'm going to be bitching about this for a while. Pardon me, everyone. I'm salty. That sucks. Th this was why I didn't want to upgrade it. You know? Death was like, oh, you should upgrade your shit. <laughs> but then they give you this. That's so unbalanced, you know? You know, now I just, I have less resources than somebody who would have been, who would have gotten their thing sooner, you know? I guess I'll scrap this. Guess I don't really care about that. Don't care about that. I don't really care about those either. To be honest. Or that. See, if I if I didn't spend time upgrading it, I would have been able to make that a plus five already. Oh, that sucks so hard. The second I picked up a plus two anything, I was like, hold on now. What are you playing at? Because now it is just... Oh. My god. Like, should I even upgrade anything ever again? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if I could get something. God, it even counted as an enemy, so it, I, it gave me my, my perk activation. Like, is there any point to me ever upgrading anything now? Like, what if later I get a plus five something and it's like, well, I shouldn't have spent up time upgrading something. Such a strange system. Like, the second I... Like, I, I bet you could probably even go back and, and see that the second I pick up something that says plus two, I'm like... Because... That's the kind of thing that can sometimes make a problem for you. You know, there's a thing that they did in Dark Souls 2 where in the DLC, I might have even mentioned this at the time, but in the DLC of Dark Souls 2, you would pick up uh, weapons at plus six because it could be assumed that you got to the DLC with a... What the hell? I just walked by a bunny and this strange white beast is attacking me. Is that what happens if you kill a bunny? Because I did that on accident, I promise. Damn. This ladder again. I stopped holding up because the loading screen took so long. Why does this loading screen keep taking so long? That's put me in a bad mood, damn. <sighs> but yeah, in Dark Souls 2, like, they're free to give you upgraded items in the DLC because it can be assumed that if you're in the DLC, you either already have items upgraded or you're good enough to not need them upgraded. And also in the DLC, they give you stuff so you can...
Well, I see my self doing zero damage here. What the hell was that? I'm being mind flayed. Dark Knight. Oh, they mentioned you. Boy, this is turning into a real problem. Ugh, I love new areas. Alright. Let's put a sun. Not safe. God damn it, you guys. That sucks. I'm gonna have to make sure that I go and get that. I guess this takes the sting off of it, but the fact that I can't do any damage to them means that there's no way that I could have possibly upgraded my weapon and fixed this problem. That's not bad. Hmm. Are the bunnies still mad? Yep, they sure are. For a second there, I had a chance to pet him. What if I pet him? Maybe he won't be mad if I can pet him first. Oh man, this episode started so well. I was progressing. Now I'm progressing in a bad way. All this chicanery just ruining my, my progress here. All right, so that says zero. That means something. That one doesn't even take damage. I get more iframes when I jump and do that. Some guy in blood, I guess. For all the good that'll do me. Okay. We are in a new load zone, so that means that they cannot hurt me here. And it looks like this is, based on this loading screen, this has to be an interstitial period or area. Hell yeah. Okay. Birds. 
Immortality alone doesn't make someone great. Am I to err eternally, making inconsequential decisions, of which ruin the only thing to show for it? You speak as one who yearned for immortality, hoping it might fill a void in their life. Gaze upon the distant stars, their light, a life across the infinite expanse of the universe. Mm -hmm. Whether you are immortal or not, our actions are of no consequence to our brethren in the sky. Our spiral brothers. Here we are, together, on this solitary rock. Perhaps it is divine providence. Perhaps it is dumb luck. Hm. It is up to you to derive meaning in such an existence, as I have done with my flowers. We cherish what is beautiful, because we know it is transient. The passage of time will not dictate the value of your life. Now, go. Plant your own flower. Oh, that's nice. What's the point of it all? Everyone I care about will die eventually. So it goes. But in death, their memory of you becomes eternal. Hmm. And someday, those memories will anchor you to sanity in the darkest of times. That's nice. Tome, scythe, scythe. Ten away. If I crushed everything in my pocket, I could get it. All right, where am I level-wise? Halfway there. So now I can go through here, and this is another new area. <laughs> well, you know what that means. That means that we have an even safer way here. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yes. That's great. Okay. Yeah, normally it's always a good thing to like, okay, did you get a shortcut? Great. Track back to the bonfire just to make sure you know how to use the shortcut properly. But in this case, there were two ways that were loosely equidistant, but one of them had way less enemies on it. So should use that one first. But now my forward path. God damn it. You would have loved it. Oh, this so is the dark knight you're spending time with. Soren says oh. nothing. I figured it was only a matter of time until you found him. This is what's left. Ah. By the time I learned what they did. Is there no saving him? He's well beyond that. Years ago, I might have been able to do something. Mm. But with you here now, I think it may be time. Time for what? He'll just come back, you know. I know. This is more for me. I promise I'll free you, Papa. Just hold on a little longer. Hmm. Dark Knight. Is she gonna help? She is. Is he using Soul Edge? Oh my god. He basically is using Soul Edge. That's why they are giving you Sunstones. Just in case I... Oh, God. This reminds me of my favorite character from Odin Sphere Life Thrasir.
This music is awesome. Mind flares, huh? Whoa, that's a lot of health. Yeah, I guess that's why it's so easy. Luckily, both of us can just trade hits. Dark Eater Greatsword. An appetite for blood. Oh, I guess them being immortals is why I can pull them back. So what does that give me? Secondary class unlocked. Sure, man. So these are the subclasses. Wizard, Soldier, Assassin, Acolyte of Death. I think these are all the same that I would have gotten. <laughs> Those are incredibly basic abilities. Perfect block. Crap. I was kind of hoping that I, uh, that I wouldn't have to pick it. I wanted to be able to look at the other things. Well, whatever. I guess I just don't have to put points in it. That's fine. They probably made this game so you can just play it with your own default class. So whatever. Did I have that forbidden key? Dark Eater Greatsword. Whoa, hi. Observation. Threat level Omega detected. Origin. Cosmic. Mm hmm. Directive. Remain calm and proceed. This is more sci fi stuff again. By surge siphons, what little power remains in this facility from us. We were promised eternal life. Caution. System failure, catastrophic. Rebooting. Updating firmware. Estimated time, 1,000 years. When you're immortal, you can wait, I guess. Oh, guarded tomb. I think I've seen this name in some places. All right, cool. Well, that should do it. I made a lot of great progress. What? A gun. Curious souvenir from the vaults of Guarded Tomb. Its mechanism is unknown, but the lethality unquestionable. With such marvels of destruction, why do the people of Guarded Tomb to resign themselves to this subterranean labyrinth? Wow. I don't want to stop playing. I mean, I've got to admit, I'm a little disappointed that, uh, that I have to, uh, either replay the game or... Did 
It's alright, I can take it. I can take the heat. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that I just have to deal with the fact that I, I picked the wrong thing. Because the, uh... Sneaky bastard. The UI is a little unclear and like when you play as when you get to pick the other things. You know, you have all of you have so much time to look at it all. And so many like so much time to think about it, but like when you're in that room, you can just read the names of the classes, and it's like, okay, which one do you want? Do you remember them from the start of the game? Because uh, if you don't, go look up a go look up a guide. And I hate that. I hate gu I hate games where you have to like have a guide open while playing them. I think that's stupid. Ugh, that should do it though. I've been Alpha. This has been Death Gambit. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I did. I I certainly had more complaints this episode, but no game is perfect. Besides maybe Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. Uh, but other than that, you know, I know I had some valid complaints to say, but I might come back and record some more later today, just after I've had a little break, but. If I don't, I'll see you later. Uh, but until next time, I've been Alfred. This has been Desk Gambit. I hope you have a good day. Bye.